Good morning. It's Erica from Meet You Paper Crafts. I am a Canadian independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator living here in Victoria, BC. And this morning, rather than doing some stamping, which I typically do on a Saturday, I'm going to show you some of the products that I got to pre-order from our new mini catalog. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you any of the contents inside the catalog. That's prohibited until you have it in your hands um, or when it you know officially goes on a sale um, but I can show you the cover so it's got some really really pretty Christmas trees on the cover this is a set that you can order very pretty I'll just give you a closer look and um, our mini catalog is always very exciting this time of the year because it focuses not only on Christmas but it focuses on Thanksgiving and Halloween as well as Christmas. Now, along with the mini catalog, there's another promotion. This is the second celebration promotion this year. We usually have one when our spring mini comes out in January, and now we're having another one. So this is the little brochure. So there are a number of items in here that you can select for free when you place a minimum $60 order. And you can order from any of our catalogs. So you can order from the new holiday catalog or you can order from our annual catalog. And as long as your order is a minimum of $60 or if you go to $120 or $180, then for $180 you get to pick three free items in here. And often they will coordinate with products from this mini catalog. So that's pretty exciting. You get to earn some free stuff. So let me turn the camera down and then we'll get started. I'm just pulling stuff out of the box. I can't remember what I ordered because I ordered it while I was away. Um, but I'll just pull stuff up and we'll just have a little peek at uh, what's in there. So let's turn the camera. Good morning, Lori. Thanks for joining this morning. Let's turn the camera around. And let me get my feet up here on my laptop so I can see comments. Oh, Carol's here this morning, good. Yeah, you said you would probably pop in. So here we go. Okay, so for some reason I have a frozen screen here. Let me just do a quick refresh. Well, I say quick, it's never quick. Here we go, now we can see the catalog. All right, so we don't need my bone folder and we don't need my tape runner. Okay, so here we go. Let me just move this over a little bit more. Okay, so it's too bad I can't show you inside yet, but if you are already, a, if you are a demonstrator, then you probably have this catalog, so you get to see what it's all about. And there are some brand new things to the Stampin' Up! line that are in here. Um, and I did order a couple of brand new things. So let's have a look at what's in the box. So I'll try and make it this. So here's my um, co order contents that are in the box. So as you can see, I ordered quite a few things. Sometimes there's two pages of this, but this time, oh, there is two pages. There you go, two pages worth of stuff that I ordered. Okay, let's pull up. So I did order a suite of products. Let's see if I can pull them all out at once. It's called the Sweet Candy Canes. Now, what attracted me to this set is um, the fact that it had um, it has a set of dies. Let me just find them out of the box here. Oh, here are the candy cane dies. So it has a set of dies in here, and I think we need to get rid of some shadows here. Sorry, you guys. Let's just see. Okay, now I can't see my comments. Oh, there they are coming up. Um, okay, so there are some dies in here. So let's open this up. I want to show you this one die. So 
So the reason I was attracted to this was because of this one die that creates a tag for a candy cane. Now, every year I buy a box of candy canes and I will either package them up and include them on top of the gift that I have wrapped up or I like to also put them on my Christmas tree. And sometimes I'll do these little pouches um, and put hot chocolate in with a candy cane. So what was so cute about this is there's a die in here. So first of all, I love this die. This is going to be so cool to play with. And this is the die I was attracted to. It is a little um, label die that um, cuts out two holes and you can thread the candy cane through there. There is a picture in the catalog, which unfortunately I can't show you, but I thought how fun would it be to decorate the actual candy canes with a little label and maybe some ribbon and um, and and whatever else um, I find in the catalog to decorate the candy canes. So that's why I was attracted to this set, Sweet Candy Canes. And I believe this ribbon... You get a pack of two ribbons. I think this was part of the suite. Um, you know what I could do is I could open up the catalog on the side so I can see what I'm doing. I can't show you, but I can look on the side here myself. There we go. So I just want to figure out what came with this. Yes, the two ribbons came with this. I'm going to put this over here. Okay, so these two ribbons, um, you've got a red and a green. This is, um, I think this is real red. Uh, could be cherry cobbler. Let me just, yeah, real red and garden green ribbon. So that will be great for all of your Christmas holiday traditional colors for Christmas, right? So that came in this little two pack of, of uh, sorry, two pack ribbon. I think it's a satin ribbon. It doesn't say, but it looks like a satin. It's got a really nice edge to it. So it'll probably tie pretty good bows, I would think. And also some new sequins. Now, uh, we had a set of sequins um, in last year's annual catalog, and they are sequins without holes in them. Typically, sequins have holes in them, but they're making them without holes, which is what I love the best. So this is a package of sequins. Again, they are in um, the red and the green. I think there's some gold in there, too. Yeah, there's gold and there's silver or clear. Red, green, gold, and silver are clear. So you've got those that you can add to the project. Ask me where I'm putting all this stuff. Yeah, so there is a picture in the catalog uh, to show you this uh, little tag that fits on the, uh, on the candy cane, which is really, really cute. Okay, and something else that came with it, um, they brought back real red and white glimmer paper. I did not get that because I still have stuff from, you know, from the past that I will use up and then I'll buy more. Okay, and there's also a pack of designer series paper. Let me just find that in the box. I got about six packs of paper in here. Oh, here it is. Oh, wow. Look at this. Woohoo! Look at those candy canes. So I suspect you can actually die cut those out. Yes, you can. How fun is that going to be to cut them out? That's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so there's the papers. So I could open this up and show you the papers. Kind of fun. Let's just open this up. I always put my paper in a different... Um, plastic pocket. I don't keep it in this paper here. 
Okay, let's have a little look. All right, so two sheets of each, as is uh, usual. So you get these candy canes that you can cut out. These are great background candy canes. Those are cool. I'll show you the backs too. Okay, so you get a great diagonal stripe, which I always love in the red and the green. Okay, then you've got the, these candy canes. And on this side, you have more diagonal stripes, just the green. Then you have diagonal stripes in three different colors. Now, what's this third color? It looks like pool party. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, pool party. So you want to make sure you've got your coordinating card stock. When you, when you purchase designer series paper and you look at the colors, make sure you've got card stock to coordinate with it because that's what it's all about. Oh my gosh, look at the back of that one. I love polka dots. So that's really pretty. And it's got some texture in the background. And then we've got more stripes. It's all about stripes with candy canes. Some more stripes. And now we've got not quite polka dots, but little ovals. Very pretty. More candy canes. Prints, I love that. And more stripes. This is going to make great Christmas bags. You know why? I like stripes because this would be the front of the bag. And often when you make a bag, you turn down a top piece to give it a nice sort of like top piece where your handles will go. And it's always nice. The striping is always really cool for the top. And then the inside of the bag is striped as well. So that's, that's why I like the striping. Here's more stripes. And then um, some triangles this time. Not triangles, sorry, diamond shapes on the back. So that would make an interesting bag too. See if you fold that top over. Yeah, so fun um, bag making this Christmas. I love to make my own bags because you can make them any size, any size you want. So those are the papers. So that's pretty well the suite. Now there is another stamp set that is in the suite. Um, it has banners for different greetings, and um, I chose not to get that. But you can get the second stamp set, too, if you want. Okay, so that's, for, that's it. I should have started with um, um, Thanksgiving comes first. So I did get a suite of products for Thanksgiving. Okay, let me just find them in the catalog and then I'll show you what I decided to get. Now, trust me, this is not the only order I'm going to be putting in. I will be putting in more because there's more stuff I love. There's some carryover items. The penguins carried over. Um, I got that last year and the um, Merriest Moments stamp set, which turned out to be my absolute favorite. And then there's a great Holly set with the paper. Um, so last year we had um, the Merriest Moments stamp set. Um, I can't pull that down for you right at the moment because it's somewhere else. But what I did do is I decided to buy some new paper that I will coordinate with that stamp set. So this is the paper I got. This is called Boughs of Holly. Um, so this will be good for all kinds of projects. So you could get the brand new stamp set, which is all about hollies, or you could coordinate this with, with one of the um, stamp sets from last year. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, look at those. Stunning. So real red. Let's see. Oh, cherry cobbler, evening evergreen, mossy meadow, old olive, poppy parade, real red, Sahara sand, shaded spruce, soft succulent, and soft suede. So lots of different greens and lots of different reds. All right. So we've got lots of poinsettias here and here's the back so just kind of a splotchy look and then look at these these are really sweet now uh what i'll probably may end up doing is is purchasing the stamp set i'm going to look at the dies because when you get designer series paper often there's a die that will cut something out from the paper so i'll want to check that out because maybe these will cut out 
because they're a bit persnickety for um, fussy cutting. So I'll have to take a look at that. And then here's your Sahara Sand. It is, there's nothing real on this. It looks like a forest of trees, but it's just, just a design, a random design. Oh, this is pretty. Look at all these trees. So yeah, you have your um, three different greens in here. This is great. Mossy Meadow, Evening Evergreen, and Soft Succulent. Those three greens are in those trees. And then, oh, this is wild. Not sure I like those combinations. I don't know. Not sure about that. What do you guys think about this? This is kind of wild. Anyway, we'll have to see. Oh, this is pretty. Check this out. See, I can't see your comments. Oh, here they are. Oh, good morning, Carol Lynn. Tanya. You love all my 3D projects. I do at Christmas. Oh, my gosh. I did these boxes last year. I'll have to pull one down to show you. I'm going to do more this year. Um, oh, I'll pull it down right now. You just reminded me of it. I made two sizes. Wait to see these boxes. Check these out. These were so fun to make. Look at them. They're just, I should have put another circle under that one, but look how cool these boxes are. And um, the lids do come off. So these would be great for maybe candles or you could fill it with candy or chocolate. Trust me, the lid comes off. It just hasn't come off in a long time. It was a tight fit for sure. It can't possibly have swollen over the time, <laughs> I wouldn't think. Okay, I'm not gonna fiddle with it now, just because of time, this lid comes off, yeah. So um, you can make them either with a pretty narrow or a shallow lid, or you can make this, see this one is deeper, so I think it's harder to get off, but I know it will come off. Yeah, and I wrapped some ribbon around there, yeah. So these boxes were lots of fun to make. Okay, so let's set these aside and carry on. Okay, so this paper has the different greens in it, and it's got real red and cherry cobbler. So this is used as nearly every color. Crumb cake looks like it's in the background. It's a Sahara sand. That's really pretty, really kind of antique looking. And what's on the back? Oh, this is nice. I like that one. Didn't care for the other one. Oh, look at this. This reminds me of if you go to the Bouchard Gardens during Christmas and you know how you look through this glass window and they have all these poinsettias in there and they're just all, tons of them all mushed together. That's what that reminds me of. And then check out the back with some polka dots. That's pretty. I like that. So again, that would make a nice bag. And oh, this is pretty. I love the pops of red and white in there. That's really pretty. And here's that um, evening ever, no, not evening evergreen. Um, what's that other green? I've just forgotten it all of a sudden. I love that other green. Um, shaded spruce. That's shaded spruce, that really bright green. And then, oh, oh, okay. I don't think I like this. Oh, that's pretty wild, isn't it? Whew. That kind of was a bit of a shock looking at that one. Lori, can you make those boxes on a live? Yeah, I could, or or I'll do a YouTube video because they're quite detailed. Um, yeah, but maybe we could do a, a, um, a group thing. Yeah, they're very detailed. All right, so those are those papers with some pretty wild looking things in there. Okay, what else did I get? Okay, so I'm gonna pair that up with other uh, sets that I have. Um, and I'm just looking at the Bows of Holly stamp bundle and no, uh, there is no die to cut out those 
flourishes of um, poinsettias. That's kind of too bad. Okay, what else did I get? Um, and just to let you know, last year in the Holiday Mini, they had a paper called Painted Christmas. It was my favorite um, paper. And it, they've returned it. They very rarely do they bring back paper. But that DSP is back. It's called Painted Christmas. So if you bought it last year and you really liked it, you can still get it, which is, I was happy to see that. Okay, what else did I pick up here? Um, let's go back to my box. Let's pull out the, um, what did I get for, um, okay, this is the paper for Thanksgiving. And I thought, let's do Thanksgiving before Halloween. Um, let's see, let me find that page. And then I got this package. I thought these were two separate items, but they're packaged together. Some sequins and some leaves, which would be fun to gold emboss. Let me just find that in the catalog here. just so I can point it out. Okay, here it is. It's also a sweet. It's called the Rustic Harvest Sweet. And um, yeah, so this is in the sweet. Yeah, it's packaged together. These are really bright. They're like an orange. They're like pumpkin pie. These are really, really bright. And look at those leaves are really cool. Okay, they came back with uh, 12 by 12 basic black cardstock. I already have some, so I didn't order that. And they've also included in this um, a new tool, which I'll pull out in a second. I just want to find the stamp set. Let me see. Here's the stamp set. It's called Hello Harvest. Um, I love pumpkins. And of course, you've got your Lazy Susans and your chrysanthemums that come out in the fall. Um, now, where are the dies for this? These dies were called, hello Harvest, Rustic Pumpkin Dies. Uh, rustic Pumpkin, here they are. So, what I loved about the dies again is there are some pumpkins in here. Yeah, check this out, okay? So number one is this, thankfully, has a die so you can cut this out, which I think is fantastic, okay? Now, if you don't like to color much, this would be fantastic gold embossed, okay? Or silver embossed. Um, and then you could just add a little bit of color to that. Um, and let's see, this little flower, this cuts out, thankfully. And the leaf cuts out, which is great. And the pumpkin cuts out. And the banner cuts out, so that's fantastic. And then the swirls cut out. You've got two or three different swirls to use in your project. Okay, so then you've got, now these are really interesting. These are dies that cut out as well as emboss. And um, what you can do with these is you could take, um, say, a stamp and Write marker and you could color on top of this before you cut it out. So you'd get a bit of texture on there. Yeah, so those dies are really, really cool. Okay, and there was no ribbon with this, but we've got ribbon. You could use a uh, linen thread, always goes great with these kinds of colors. Um, let's see, what else should I show you? Okay, so I wanna show you now, the fun thing about these leaves, you could punch a hole in them and use them as tags as well. If you create kind of a little Thanksgiving uh, thing for your table. Okay, so let's take a look at these papers. I think these are going to be really cool. It's so fun to create with new stuff, isn't it? 
And I always tell my customers, you know, we, we, we eventually, you know, end up with a lot of different stamp sets. And if you're a customer, you're not a demonstrator, you want to reuse your things. And so you can just freshen everything up with new paper, new embellishments, new ribbons, new embossing folders. You don't have to always buy a new stamp set, but there's lots of other products that you can um, purchase to just freshen up the look. All right, so here are these delectable pumpkins. Love pumpkins. I love pumpkin pie, too. And here's the back. So again, another diagonal, just black. You could color these if you were so inclined. You could diff color them different colors. That would be a lot of work, but it could be effective. Okay, and then you've got this nice color here. This looks like um, crushed curry. And then on the back, oh, this is pretty. It's black. It's got uh, acorns on it, oak leaves and acorns. I like that. That is really cool. Okay. Um, then, oh, my goodness gracious, check this one out. Now, what I love about uh, papers that have a border you can end up making uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cards out of this. Just make them all the same, and this becomes your card front. Wrap a bit of ribbon around, put a little greeting with either a punch or use any of your dies, and you've got some really, really fast and simple cards, right? You're just cutting them, and you can decide how you want to cut them if you want a horizontal, uh, a landscape card or a portrait card. This would be pretty as a landscape card, but you might cut it off. So I don't know. I think I might do a, a portrait style card. Anyway, so you've got those and then you've got just some simple black little patterns on the back. And then, oh, this is fun. So how many of you buy these fun gourds to, um, I always put a basket on my ta kitchen table with gourds in it. And years ago, years ago, I saw this uh, Martha Stewart thing where you get yourself some glitter and it was kind of a chunkier glitter, not the, not the emboss, not embossing powder, but it has to be a glitter. And so I bought some orange glitter and um, what you do is you take your, your little pumpkin and you take just white craft glue and you paint the glue all over the gourd and then you dip it. So you could dip it like halfway or you could dip the whole thing in the um, glitter and then let them dry. Oh my gosh, I filled my mantle with them, with all of these little pumpkins, glittered pumpkins. And they lasted a long time. I was surprised. Okay, so we've got some real simple little leaves on the back and then we've got some striping this is pretty and we've got a variety of different leaves you could you could um color these with your with any kind of markers or pens or pencils if you were so inclined or you could just spritz it with a bit of color or sponge it yeah you could sponge it so just do kind of circles of different you could do cajun craze you could do daffodil delight you could do you know any of your fall colors and just you know sponge this whole sheet with different colors and then cut it up and use it god I've come up with all these ideas i hope i remember them okay this is cute with the swirls and i love the green and then the back is more black and white this would make a cute basket Okay, what colors are in here? Basic black, Cajun craze, crushed curry, early espresso, Mary Merlot, mossy meadow. Yeah, great, a great fall color. So another fantastic pack of paper. Okay. Love that to coordinate with this um, rustic harvest suite. That's going to be a lot of fun to play with. Okay, now a brand new item. I'll pull it out. A brand new item is the embossing additions tool. Now, um, I have always wanted, I have a huge embossing tray, um, and I've always wanted a small one. So when I saw this, I thought, okay, it's a Stampin' Up! one. I'm going to get it. Okay, so this is what this tray is all about. So look how cute this little tray is. 
Oh my gosh, it's got a, oh my gosh, look at that. It's got a little lid on it. So that as you're working, your powder doesn't come out. So what you basically do is you will take your, as you're embossing, you can just take your cardstock, pour your powder on from the little jars, let it fall in here, and then look how easy that is to put it back in the jar. And it comes with a brush. Woo! Comes with a brush, so then you can brush that down into your jar. How cool is that? Isn't that cool? Do you have any, are there any wows on, let me see, I'm trying to scroll down. Why can't I get rid of that? Um. Oh, thanks, Tanya. <laughs> Maybe I did those boxes on my YouTube. Yeah, maybe I already have a box video. I can't remember. Okay, and then, of course, finally, they brought back the um, embossing buddy. I'm always talking about the embossing buddy. So now they've brought it back. But unfortunately, you can't buy it on its own. You have to buy this whole kit. But then it also comes with some really cool tweezers. So now you can hold your pieces so you don't burn your fingers. So I'm kind of impressed with this um, little kit here. And I have no idea how this goes back in here. I'll have to figure that out later. But anyway, there's your little kit. Nice. like it. It's really tiny. So look, when I'm doing um, videos, um, it'll be a great size for that. So let's just unpack that and uh, get rid of the packaging. So isn't that cute? Very cute. Okay, so that's... On page on page 49 of the catalog, it's kind of part of the rustic suite, but you can buy it independent of that. So that's a lot of fun. Okay, I think that's all I bought for fall. There are a lot of fall sets in the catalog, several as a matter of fact, but I chose just to get the one. I may get another one. There's one with apples that looks intriguing. Um, okay, on to Halloween. My favorite, favorite cards to make in the whole wide world is Halloween. I just, I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. But I love making Halloween cards. One of my team members, Tracy, she loves to make Halloween cards as well. So, I purchased... Um... I purchased this adorable set. It's called Bewitching. So it's a stamp set and a punch bundle to punch out the hat and some stars and a hat band. So you could do some fun things with the hat band. What I would do is I would punch the hat band in a glitter paper. So look how cute, three different styles of hats and little, little feet that hang out the bottom. So there's lots of fun things you can do with that and a spider, of course, and some stars. So I love, love, love that. Isn't that cute? That's gonna be so cute. And then I decided to buy some black and white paper, um, appropriate for Halloween, but you can also um, color this. Again, you could take out your blending brushes and you can um, color the paper. Let's see what designs are in here color them in purples and oranges and all the Halloween colors. Okay, so this is just black and white, yeah. Oh, there's basic gray, black and white. Yeah, there's your basic gray. So we've got some more stripes, more stripes. Okay. We've got Excuse me, polka dots and polka dots. Oh, we've got, I think these are called chevrons. They're making my, they're making my eyes go funny. So you've got these and then you've got white on the back. Yeah, those are making my eyes swim. Then you've got argyle and argyle. 
they made the paper simple. The same pattern, both sides, just the two different colors. More stripes, more stripes. Oh, now we've got some stars, and we've got some stars. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so that'll make some great Halloween um, projects. Okay. All right. Um, so that's that. Now, there was another really adorable set of witches. I don't know. I might have to get them. They're too cute because there's an absolutely adorable frog. I love little frogs. And there's another one for trick-or-treating little kids dressed in their monster outfits, which is kind of cute. So there's three different Halloween sets in the catalog. Okay, what else did I get? Okay. Oh. Okay, why did I... Hang on. So that's, I'm going to show you what I got for celebration. So I've got my catalogs. I've got one more pack of paper to show you. Okay, Scary Silhouettes dies. I bought dies without a stamp set. Now, why did I do that? Oh, I know. So there's a bundle called um, Scary Cute Bundle. And I didn't buy the stamp set, but the dies are amazing. I'll show the dies to you. I think these are going to be a lot of fun. I thought these were too cool because they create kind of, um, they create cards on their own without stamping, really. Okay. So you have this. You have a frame, an outside frame, then you have an inside frame that kind of has some trees. See, some kind of trees. Then what's really cool is that you can frame it with a cat on it, or you can frame it with a scary house you see there's a scary house so see you can make some scene there's some bats there's a moon oh there's two three sizes of bats and there's a moon and then there's a little label thing so that will make cards all on its own so is I thought that was kind of cute yeah kind of cute so, um, I just got the dies. You don't always have to get the bundle. I can't remember where that went now. I usually like to take a photo before I start taking things off. Maybe that's the way it was. Okay. So those dies are really cute. Okay. So that was my Halloween stash. Okay, now I got, so with all of that, I got several items from Celebration. So I got a stamp set, which I've already seen tons of things made with it. It's called the Hippest Hippos. Look at those guys. So adorable. So if you have children, grandchildren, especially a little ballerina, look how cute. This would be cute for Valentine's Day. Um, you're always on point. You're so hip. Oh, you really are the best. Love you a ton. Yeah, very, very, very cute. And they came with a set of dies, which is always fun. You know, I'm throwing all this as I unwrap stuff. You know where this is all going. It's going right on my floor. I have a big cleanup when I'm done, but that's okay. Okay, let's see what these dies are. 
Yeah, so lots of dye. Somebody was talking about this the other night. There is, you can make a snorkeling hippo, walking in the rain hippo. There's a boat. There's some waves. There's some flowers. There's some splashes. There's a party hat, glasses. I have no idea what that is. What could that be? There's a life preserver. What is that? Don't know. And there's a little, you know, one of those beanie hat helicopter things. There's some hearts and all three hippos. You can die cut them out. This is a very fun and versatile set. What is that? Feet? Are you turning him into a duck? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what those are. Anyway, one of you will figure it out for me. Okay, so that's Happy's Hippo. So that was a $120 value. So you have to place an order for $120 to get that. Then I picked up some, I love uh, silver and gold paper. So this is specialty paper. I love 6x6 six six paper. makes great little boxes. So I'll just show you these. Papers are gold and silver pattern. Single-sided. Dots. Oh, there's quite a few sheets of each. Stripes. More dots. Yeah. Some great um, silver and gold. So if there's a wedding coming up, that would be kind of handy. So that was my other um, celebration free item. Then I got these cards and envelopes, pool party and soft sea foam, two beautiful colors, cards and envelopes. So when you want to make something um, fast um, and the envelopes are printed on the um, flap, I should open these and see what they look like too. So if you have to send some quick, you know, thank you cards. Okay, so let's, ooh, these are going to be, these are pretty. So, looks like you have two styles of envelopes. Oh, they're all the same. So they have the pool party on the inside. Yeah, they're all the same. And you've got... A pattern in the bottom right hand corner and you've got a pattern on the flap I don't know how well the camera is going to pick that up and then you've got two types of cards one green and one pool party I don't know if you can see the design in that you can see the pool party on the camera really well but aren't those pretty those are really really pretty you could combine those with any of the floral um, floral um, stamp sets from the annual catalog so that would be a lot of fun okay and then one last thing to show you what's my time like oh I'm still good okay so the last thing to show you is more designer series paper this was free called rings of love and this paper happens to coordinate with a stamp bundle in the catalog it's the one with the wooden rings. I didn't haven't purchased it yet, but I got the free paper. Because you can always use paper for other things, but um, I'm intrigued by the ring things. Because last year my husband made me some um, rings. I think they're about three or four inches in diameter out of some old wood that he had cured in the yard and I was you can stamp on them and I was going to make some Christmas ornaments this year okay let's have a look here lots of colors in here crushed curry evening evergreen mint macaron night of navy parakeet party petal pink poppy parade and soft suede so this is very pretty 
This would make a really pretty, oh my gosh, look at though, it's on the back. This would make a really pretty gift bag. Oh, check this out. Poppy Parade and Mint Macaron. Who'd have thunk it? Wow, like that. Okay, I'm just scrolling to see if we've got some more comments here. A lot of comments coming in. The beanie thing is actually a boat propeller. Oh, <laughs> okay. Thanks, Carol. Oh my gosh, look at this. They brought in, what color is that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm a bird fanatic. Look at the birds, look at the birds. I love the birds. And love these, love these colors. What's that blue? Because that one blue we have retired. Yeah, I gotta find out what blue is that. It just popped in my head. Knight of Navy. <laughs> Simple. Knight of Navy. Okay. So what's on the back of this sheet? Oh, that's subtle. I'm not sure I like it, but it's subtle. Pretty colors. You know how sometimes your eye just goes, um, not sure, but look at these sweet little birds. I love them. And what's on the back of this? Oh, look at this. This is pretty. This looks like, um, there's a technique you can do where you put some watercolor, uh, watercolor wash on, make sure it's really wet. And then you throw salt on top. You have to get the, the harsh salt, the sea salt. And you throw it on there and just leave it until it's dry and it, it creates these kind of patterns. That's a really fun technique that I haven't done in years. And these houses, look at these. Wow. I would probably just cut them all out. Maybe the set cuts these out. I'm not sure. The dies. If the dies cut the houses out, I'll have to get the set for sure. What's on the back of this? Oh, this is pretty. Oh, these would be really pretty cut out. Just a big circle. Just use a die and cut it out with a big circle. Those are really, really pretty. You'd get, let's see, one, two, three. Well, you'd only get four. Oh, five. If you're going edge to edge, you'd get five on there. And then you've got two sheets. But aren't those color combinations pretty? That is so pretty. Oh, hang on. Um, yeah, there's only one blue in here. So that's Knight of Navy, but it's, you know, it's um, watered down. Knight of Navy, um, Mint Macaron. And um, Evening Evergreen is the green. Lovely, beautiful. Even from your papers, you, get, you can get your color combos from, right? Okay, now this is delectable. Love this. So if you have any animal sets, look how cute this would be. I just did the Happy Hedgehogs um, Thursday night. I did Case the Caddy with happy hedgehogs and there's a mushroom in there but you, I could incorporate this paper with the hedgehogs and there's a butterfly in here a couple of different oh lots of different butterflies so pretty and the back oh here you go here are these um, wood pieces so I believe the stamp set cuts these out and embosses them I believe it's one of those hybrid embossing folders again which is so cool and then oh this is very pretty these look like poinsettias. So you could use this for Christmas. Very pretty. I love the color combinations in that. This would make a good background for some little critters in the forest. Oh my God, the papers are just stunning. All right, so that's it, ladies. That's all I have to show you. Now that it's all opened, I have to get myself organized and start creating. Yeah, so I'll bring back the catalog in. So there you go. There's the mini catalog. Lots of goodies in there. 
And um, the celebration brochure. Lots of goodies in there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me just say goodbye. Pull up my camera. There we go. Yeah, so lots of fun things to play with. Uh, I think some of you already have your orders in and you're ready to play. And I have now my catalogs in so my customers can come and pick them up. And thank you so much for watching, ladies. So uh, my next live is, oh yeah, tomorrow morning for uh, Moho Monday. And I have a really simple card, a, a delightful card using a DSP and an embossing folder. So if you want to join me for that, um, I will see you at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Thanks, ladies. Have a good evening and afternoon. Bye.